Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about JavaScript object properties and some special attributes associated with these properties. Now you might be aware that properties are like key value pairs inside an object, but there's more to it than just being key value pairs. So in this video, we will dig deeper into what are different property flags, descriptor methods, and some other methods revolving around these flags. So without wasting any more time, let's start writing some code. Now coming back to my JS file, the first thing that I'm going to do is create an empty object. So I'm going to create an object and the name will be employee and then using this curly braces syntax. Now in order to define a property, I'm going to use the dot operator. So employee dot title is equal to my name. So you must be already familiar with this way of defining properties. Now along with this, uh, you can use the method object dot get own property descriptor to get the information about this property. So basically the first parameter will be the object and the second one is the property name. Now you can see here apart from value we have three other things associated with this and that is the writable flag, the enumerable flag and then the configurable flag. So in this video we will discuss each three of these in details. So the next thing that I'm going to show you that there's another way of defining property and that is using object.define property. So you can pass the object name, the, the property name. So the first thing that you can define is the value and then you can define these flags explicitly. So the writable I'm setting to true, the configurable also I'm setting to true and then the enumerable also setting to true. Now when we console.log for this property using the same function get own property descriptor and this time the age. Now you can also see we again have these flags set to true. Now let's change this flag one by one and see what difference it causes into our property. So let's start with the writable flag. So I'm going to set writable to false. Now you can see we have the writable false. And now if I access the age and then set it to a different value, then you can still see in the next statement, even though we are setting it to 42, the value is still 21. And that is because we had set writable to false. That means we can no longer write on this property. So this property value will remain the same as it was defined earlier. Now let's come to this enumerable flag. So before that, let I will just loop through all the keys in my object. So for let key in object, I'm going to console log key. And now you can see we have the title and the age. Now let's set this enumerable flag to false and see what happens. So as soon as we set it to false, you can see in our foreign loop that age property is no longer shown. So this is what the enumerable flag does. It does not allow the property to be listed inside of a loop. So I will set it back to true and now you can see our age is back in the foreign. Now let us talk about this configurable flag. So right now you can see the configurable is set to true. Now we can call this object or define property again on the same property that is the age and set update other flags like I'm going to set writable to true now. So you can see in this console that now we have the writable and configurable and the enumerable. All these of three set to true. Now what happens if the first time I set the configurable to false, then you start getting this error in the next line. And that is because once we have set the configurable to false, we cannot update other properties as well. So the writable Changing the right table to true is not going to work. We cannot update any other flags once we have set the configurable to false. So that is what the configurable does. Similarly, we cannot delete any uh, property from the object once we have set configurable to false. So let me show it to you now. So I will remove this one and then here I will update the right table to true and just set the configurable to false. Now when I try to delete a property, so what I will do now is call delete employee.age. Now as you can see, even though we have called this delete employee.age, we are still getting the employee age property at line number 18. So now you can see it is not getting deleted, but if we call the delete on employee.title, you see that it got removed. And that is because there the configurable flag is set to true. 
so now coming to the next thing what we can do now is we can define multiple properties with multiple flags using a function called object dot define properties and the syntax for that is very similar to what we have already done that is object dot define property so i will just copy paste it now and what i will do now is define some more properties with uh, some flags for each of these new properties so remove this whole block and then inside this curly braces you can give the first the property name that we are going to define so the new property that i am going to define i will be calling it last name now inside this curly braces i can give the value and then set the other flags so i will set writeable to true and similarly you can set the other flags as well so right now i am getting this error so let me just quickly fix it so actually it's not object or define property but object dot define properties so now we can define multiple properties so the next property that i will define now so let me just add enumerable flag also set it to true and now inside this foreign loop you can already see that we have the last name now and similarly comma separated we can define other properties as well so repeat the same thing and change the value so now you can also see the inside the foreign loop we have now title last name profession and age so this is also an a handy function that we can use to define multiple properties at once so that is how we define these properties and set the flags explicitly and apart from this we have some other functions as well that internally updated these flags so we will discuss those functions now so the first thing that i am going to discuss is about this object.seal function so i will call this object.seal on my employee so what this function does it sets the configurable flag to false for all the existing properties on this object so now if you try to change the value so now i will change the employee dot title to something else like john and console dot log this employee dot title you can see that the title will be updated and that is because it only set the configurable to false but the writable is still set to true so with configurable set to false what we cannot do is to de delete the properties existed on this object and also we cannot define any new property so if i now try to define employee dot last name is, uh, is equal to snow and try to log this one you see that we get undefined because once we have sealed the object we cannot add new properties we cannot delete existing properties but we can modify um, the existing properties so as you can see inside the foreign loop we are getting the title age but not the last name now let's try to delete some property of this object so i will call delete employee dot age but you can see inside the foreign loop we are still getting age because we cannot delete any property once we have sealed that object so now the next function that i am going to talk about is object dot freeze so what this freeze does is apart from setting configurable to true it also sets writable to true so now we can no longer update the title flag title property sorry so if i set employee dot title to something else and try to log it you see we will still get the old value because now we can no longer update the existing properties so what object dot freeze does is whatever the object dot seal does but also it sets writable to false so you can see um, you can also not update the age property so if we log this here you can still see that we are getting the old one now let's talk about another function and that is object dot prevent extension so we will have a look at that one in detail so let's comment this whole thing out and then i will call object dot prevent extension on my object employee so what prevent extension does is we cannot add any more new properties on these object but we can modify the existing one so if i try to uh, define a new property last name and uh, name it to start and try to log it and uh, you can see we are still getting undefined because we can no longer add any new property to this object now let's talk about some more functions so for for that i will just uh, bring that code back up so the next function that i'm going to talk about is object dot is extensible and then pass in your object so basically it returns a boolean value 
and it tells us whether we can extend the object or not. So right now it will return false because we had set object dot prevent extension on our employee object. Now similarly we have object dot is sealed. So this also checks whether the object is sealed or not. So right now you can see here that we have called this seal. So even though we comment this out, we still see this as true because object dot freeze also seals the object. Now when I comment out object dot freeze, you can see that object dot is sealed is now set to false. Now the final function that we are going to talk about is object dot is frozen. So again this checks if the object is frozen as the name suggests. So right now if I uncomment seal that then you can see that is frozen is returning false. But when I set object dot freeze then you can see is frozen is also set to true. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you will like this video and if you like then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.